Hi crazy critters! Excuse the look today. I look like I either just got out of band camp or I literally look like I just walked out of fifth grade. I do apologize for that. Um, I'm gonna be going out of town tomorrow for work so I just wanted a chill kind of day, no makeup kind of vibe. So box opening. It has been a little bit since I did the last one. I think it's it's been a little bit um, but I've been selling a lot of my dolls lately so I figured I'd bring a new baby into my collection. Um, I do have a lot of babies for sale on my reborns.com. I will have the link in the description if you guys are interested. I've been making a lot of my babies very affordable so if you're interested in that you can check it out. So here's the box. <laughs> um, this baby is a prototype of a sold out kit. It has been sold out for a long time and I actually didn't even realize it was a prototype until I looked back at the picture she had sent me and it said prototype on one of like the COA kind of things. I was like, wait, what? It's a prototype? Because she, did, she didn't say it was or anything. So I looked at it and then I went online. I found the prototype pictures and I was like, wow, it's a prototype. So this kit is really, really cute. The artist, well, I guess the sculptor, is Cassie Brace and I've never owned one of her babies before. So I'm really excited. But yes, the person I bought this from is very sweet, very nice. Um, found her on Instagram. So yeah, here's what the box looks like. I feel a little rusty when it comes to YouTube. I've been very busy as of late. So yeah, I got a new job. Um, and it's been really, really good. I've been loving it. So and I'm still going to be doing um, reborns every day. So you guys don't have to worry about me <laughs> stopping doing that. So here is an outfit. It's like a little overall outfit. I did see her in these, um, in her like listing photos. I think it's such a cute outfit. And this is the shirt that goes underneath. It's a little long sleeve shirt. It has like goats and things. Yeah, it has goats and things. It's really cute. <laughs> I love that. So this looks like a CD holder. <laughs> I know it's not, but um, okay, so the certificate or the certificate. I don't know what country the artist or the sculptor is from, so so this it talks about so this is the prototype information. Um I won't show you guys that just in case um you want the kit to be a surprise. Um, the artist is Jacqueline, Jacqueline Kramer, maybe? Um, I know it says Jackie's Little Honey Babies, so that's the artist. I've never owned her work before, so this is very exciting. I love having um, different artists' work. I think it's just, just exciting. All right, so this is the COA, so I'm not going to show you guys this. Um, here, I'll show you this part. Ugh. But it says prototype right there. Oh wait, prototype right there, five out of five. So yeah, that's the COA prototype stuff. All right, so we have some little uh, pants and they have a bow. Those are super cute. I honestly don't have like barely any um, newborn girl clothes or really girl clothes in general. And then this onesie, which is cute, has a little unicorn on it. Love that. I love a little unicorn action. And then, let's see what we have over here. We have some more outfits. Um, she was very nice and sent me um, extra outfits, which I really appreciate. So we have these little polka dot pants, which I like. I like the, the clothes leg, because I usually put socks on my babies. And then we have this hot pink one. It's plain and cute. There's that. We just have a couple more things. This is cute for 4th of July. It says little sparkler. Really, you could wear this anytime, but I know that it is like 4th of July themed. But that's really cute. Then there's this. Um, it's like a... Oh, I'm holding it the wrong way. What's the word? Oh, vintage. It's like a very vintage looking outfit. It's blue and has um, like little designs all over it. Like... I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. It's honestly really, really cool looking. I, I don't have anything like that, so that's awesome. All right, long sleeve, what does it have? Aw, has two little monkeys and says, I love mommy. That's super, super cute, I love that. I love anything that says, I love mommy on it. And then we have some more pants. 
um oh wait <laughs> we have more pants with the close foot which like i said i love that all right lots of cute outfits i think we have a what is this oh cute it's a little jacket so that's what it looks like it has little ears on it so so cute that'll be really nice for the um fall or winter time which is coming up very soon and i'm super excited about that as i'm sure you guys know okay and now we have the baby which oh my gosh i'm so excited okay so yeah, you guys can see that pretty well I'll turn to the side a little bit i don't know if her face is going to be covered oh my goodness she is a little thing i'm sure her kit is I think 18 inches long which is like right at the cutoff for me so like I've gone through so many reborns and like I kind of know what I will and will not bond with and I talked about it in my previous video like there's certain like preferences where you might not be able to get over that and like you can't bond so like one of those things for me is painted hair I can never have a reborn with painted hair because I just can't bond I also have noticed I don't bond well with smaller babies so she's like right at the edge of that so let me see if, okay so her face is not covered up so we will check her out all right so she is wearing a very cute vintage looking outfit oh my gosh so here's what it looks like let me not show her face oh my gosh she's weighted very nicely and she smells very nice too i always get worried like when i buy a reborn if like maybe somebody like didn't list if they were like a smoker or something like that and the baby comes and has smells of smoke i know that's happened to you before so like i'm always like a little nervous it's gonna smell like smoke but um let me check out her hands i love to send my babies in sleepers um because i feel like it protects their paint so when other people do i'm like good on you because you don't want something to get messed up in shipping oh god how do i get your little little hand out of here this is tough I know I can't pause the video because last time I tried doing that, it fell off. I have it currently sitting on top of two of my daughter's play blocks <laughs> because the camera was too low, so I had to lift it up a little bit, so. Oh my goodness, her little, little fingers. Wow. Oh my gosh. That looks so realistic. Seriously, look at that. It might be hard to tell on camera. Don't focus on my face. Focus on the hand here. <laughs> There's the hand, I don't know if it'll focus, but it looks really, really nice. The camera or just the photos that I had seen just don't, don't do it justice. Okay, so we'll unveil the other arm and then we'll just go into the face, cause why not? So here's the other hand, looks just as nice. Honestly, like the painting is really nice. This baby is from 2017, so um, yeah, like I said, she's an older baby, so let's just do the face. Face is always the scariest part. So three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Oh my gosh, the little mouth is already just so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Her hair. Oh. Gosh, I cannot believe I have to go out of town tomorrow and I cannot spend time with you. Oh my, oh, okay. Let me tell you guys what's going on in my head. So it's just saying all the, oh my gosh, oh my, you know, the rooting obviously is amazing because she is a prototype and I was worried with um, how old she was that she would lose a lot of the like micro rooting, like in the front here but it looks like she does have quite a bit of it which is really awesome for her being oh my god math for being years old we'll just say she's years old but let me show you guys the top of her noggin so that's what it looks like oh my god <laughs> guys oh my oh my gosh oh, look at that freaking face i don't know if she has a magnet or anything like that i'm assuming she does but already her hair is just like in perfect condition. Like, look at that swirly swirl. Okay, so we're gonna take her out of this <laughs> and looking um, like at her limbs and stuff. I'm so used to doing like box openings um, where like I hadn't shown my face for a long time. 
And so when I do them now, I'm like, you gotta remember these people can see your face and your wild expression, so don't get too crazy. But I still make them regardless, cause I mean, how can you not? You only do a box opening one time for each baby, so. Okay, so she has a little diaper on. Looks like she wears, what is this? Newborn, she wears newborn. Oh my goodness. So she has very like, so modeling and it looks really good sometimes when people do modeling it can get like a little crazy looking but it looks very very nice on her like wow got her little tootsies you guys can see that that's like my favorite part is the feet so cute um i definitely think after the years um her varnish started to come off but honestly like I don't like having a reborn that's like completely completely matte just because not that it makes it look less realistic but like as a baby babies I feel like are pretty oily like they just kind of have like a dewy look to them so I think the way hers is right now is like the perfect amount of like dew so I think I think she is perfect like her mouth is like everything is painted so nicely she has tiny little like you know how babies have milk bumps she has tiny ones on the side of her nose and then like at the very corner of her eyelid like she is so detailed which one would imagine if they were a prototype doll and i believe it's jacqueline kramer i believe that's who it is so we're gonna put her in this little outfit because i like my favorite outfit on my reborns is long sleeve onesies with no pants that's like my favorite um so that's pretty much what i always have them in like even if it's like 100 degrees out i'm like you're still wearing this because i mean babies can get cold. well probably not in that weather but babies can still get cold when it's warmer because they're just so tiny and can't really regulate their body heat that well but we'll put her oh my gosh hand cooperate please oh my gosh but yeah, I'm going out of town tomorrow for training. Um, going to be doing that the next couple weeks. And when everything's all ready to go, I'll be working a good amount of hours. And whenever I'm not at work, I'll be working on my reborns. Um, I have a lot of Bountiful Baby kits right now. I'm currently working on Ruby Awake, which is one of my favorite kits of all time just in general. So um, if you guys are interested in that, definitely um, keep an eye out. You can favorite my nursery on there. So when I do list her, you guys will be notified of that. I just uh, listed a baby yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, I think. She came out so, so pretty. I'll post a picture right here of her. Um, but yeah, I love the way she came out. And she's $350 plus shipping. Um, if you guys are interested, you can message me on there or message me on Instagram, whatever works. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the Zabibbe. Oh my goodness. She's like the perfect size. She's like not too, too small to where like, if you took her out, they're like, that baby should be like in the NICU or something. Like that baby is way too small. But she, yeah, she's perfect, perfect size. So yeah, here's her face again. Um. I feel like name wise I kind of want to go oh my gosh oh my god I'm so in love um I think for names which I don't have one oh my god I look fat I'm sorry that's that's terrible I can't believe I've been sitting like that the whole time anyways <laughs> um I think for her name I want to go with something classic like an Eleanor Victoria something like that so if you have any suggestions let me know um tomorrow which I guess will be the day that you guys will be seeing this. Um, I will be out of town. I'll probably upload it when I get to the hotel. Um, and yeah, let me know um, if you guys have any name suggestions um, in the comments below because I always need help with them. And yeah, um, I'm super excited to have her. I love babies with darker hair because I have darker hair. I find that I cannot bond whatsoever with a baby that does not have dark hair. I finally, I'm sorry I talked so long you guys, but I finally have been able to bond with sleeping babies. They're for like 
six months, that was another kind of baby I couldn't have because I just couldn't bond. But I was like, I, I um, used some of my tips um, in my one video I had made about how to bond with a reborn and it really did help me. So now I has broadened my horizons so I can have sleeping babies now and bond with them. Oh my gosh, she's just so cute. And just have a grand old time. So yeah, I guess that is the end of the video. Once again, thank you for bearing with my look and all of its not glory. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and before I go, if you have any video suggestions, leave me some down below. I'll film in my free time, but your girl's gonna be busy but we'll make it work. But yeah, see you in the next one. Bye guys.